coming up in Ms. Tastic. anywhere, anytime, hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. Hi there, I'm Mr. Tastic, and today we're going to be exploring dragons. We're gonna learn a little bit about dragons and then we're going to make a dragon drawing and a dragon artwork. So a dragon is a mythical creature that has appeared in folklore worldwide. Yes, worldwide. They are described like large reptiles that have lots of scales, they have horns, they have wings, and of course, their very unique capability that they are able to breathe fire. Now back in the day when I was younger, I used to think of as dragons as those creatures that would be in caves guarding gold, and knights would come with their armor to try to get in there and grab gold or save a princess from a dragon. But then as more stories came out, or other uh, movies or books, the idea of dragon has changed dramatically. You might now think of dragons as having different types. Um, and maybe you have watched Harry Potter and you're like, oh, I can name some different types of dragons. And that's kind of how I think of dragons today. And these very big, majestic, cool creatures. So. Dragons often symbolize the supernatural powers. They symbolize wisdom. They also symbolize strength. Did you know that in stories, dragons are said to have lived thousands of years? Wow, could you imagine if a creature was hundreds or even thousands of years old? That would be pretty incredible. So let's head on over to the art studio where we're going to draw a cute dragon and then make a dragon artwork. See you there. Let's make some art. Okay, we're gonna draw our cute dragon. Big U shape. for some horns. Two curving lines. 
check it out. Your dragon is done. Let's color it in using choice colors and our mediums. Highlights. I need a gray. I always run out of gray. Okay, we'll use some gray to add some. Dragon is done. Let's make our dragon painting. Let's do a curved line with our black wax crayon with a little ear on either side. We'll add a little line down each ear and we'll add a little horn on the top of each side of the head. Add a hue for the face and an upside down U to make the body.
And just like that, your dragon is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.